Are you buying a new home and wanting to save thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars? Maybe it's not a new house. Maybe it's an investment property. The world has changed to where buyers are now expected to pay for a buyer agency fee. It used to be that the seller would always offer compensation to the buyer's agent. Not anymore. This means that home buyers could be on the hook for two and a half to three percent of a property's sales price. That's fifteen grand on a five hundred thousand dollar house, thirty thousand dollars on a million dollar house, and sixty thousand dollars on a two million dollar house. The Department of Justice has shaken up the industry and is changing the way things are being done. It's allowed new and transformational ways to purchase a new house. And the bigger the house purchase, then the more you can save using the Purchase Power Plan. This new way of buying a house that can save you tens of thousands of dollars is not for everyone. If you're not a serious buyer and are more of a tire kicker than this new buyer agency program, it's not for you. So how does the Purchase Power Plan work? It works identically to how attorneys work. A buyer pays by the hour instead of that enormous lump sum fee at closing. The less you use our agent, well, then the less you owe. In other words, if you are one of those buyers that like hitting the open house circuit and don't need your agent to walk you through the house with you, then this is definitely the system for you. So how can an agent like myself offer a program like this that ultimately saves a home buyer thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars? It's easy. Every agent's most valued commodity is their time, and this is exactly what is wasted by a majority of potential home buyers. People will look at 10, 20, 30 houses and then decide not to buy. In that type of scenario, seeing 30 houses could equate to over 50 hours of an agent's time. I've been around the block for some time. I have always felt that agents were never overpaid in their entirety, but can be overpaid and underpaid depending on the transaction. How does that make sense? Sure. The buyer who spent two weeks finding a house and got their first offer accepted then for those folks, that buyer agent was probably overpaid. But for the buyers that spent years looking and see 30 houses over the entirety of those years, then those guys were most likely underpaid. That is how I get to the median that an agent isn't overpaid. Now, the purchase power plan shares the risk between a buyer and an agent. It ensures that a buyer isn't wasting an agent's time and asking to see a house that they know they're never going to buy just because they want to see the house. It looks pretty. Again, it's not for everyone. If you're the type of person that needs this ton of hand folding, needs to see 20 houses in order to feel comfortable with the market, then you should 100% go the traditional way and do the lump sum payment at closing. But I had someone reach out the other day and they were interested in buying a condo in two buildings. They wanted something very specific. Essentially, when a unit is listed, then they will be seeing it and writing an offer on it. Most likely, they know what they want and when it comes, they will act quickly. Not only that, but we're also talking about a property price of over a million dollars. These guys wound up saving around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars on their house purchase. Another person this program is perfect for was an investor that I spoke with. They know what they are looking for. They're cash buyers and have a very targeted buying strategy. He will end up saving around ten thousand dollars for each property that he purchased. Oh, and he's looking to purchase four investment properties this year. The savings it adds up quickly. So what happens if the seller ends up offering a buyer agency fee? Then at closing, that fee goes to the buyer in the form of a closing cost assistance. Imagine for a moment that you're buying a $750,000 house and the seller is offering a 2.5% credit. That's $18,750 credit from the sellers. Now, let's imagine that the hourly billing using the purchase power plan ends up being $5,000. And that means that you as a buyer net an additional $13,750 at closing. That's not a bad deal. And imagine that you're in a multiple offer situation buying that same $750,000 house. You're going up against four other offers that are all asking the sellers to pay their buyer agent the $18,750. That means that you and your offer have an $18,750 advantage over those other buyers, which significantly increases your chance of winning that bid. Believe it or not, I've lost friends that are real estate agents by offering this program. It's a threat to the old guard in the way they have very successfully done business over the years. The biggest knock they can say against it is that using this program means that a buyer and an agent's interests, they're not aligned. And this is absurd, and here's why. First and most importantly, you as a buyer are not locked into a contract using the purchase power plan. You can fire us and go to another agent at any time. You don't think we're doing a good job? Then that means that we are going to lose you as a client. Now, the second part is that once the property goes under agreement, then there are more billable hours. And billable hours is how we pay our bills, by the way. It's in our best interest for you to win the bid and get the property. 
And the third area, which they will point out, is that this means that a purchase power plant agent will milk the clock. Now, I always wonder if they feel that way about their attorney, because this isn't the case at all. All activities are done in 10 minute increments and every billing activity is immediately added to a Google Sheet, which a home buyer can see at all times and can even see it being updated as work and time is being performed. The program is 100% transparent with its billing and we offer estimates for the amount of time an activity is gonna take. As an example, if you found a house and are wanting to write an offer, expect 10 to 20 minutes for an offer strategy consult, another 30 to 40 minutes to draft the contract. You should want to know the comps in the area. Well, then expect 20 to 30 minutes there. Want a higher likelihood that your offer gets accepted? Then expect 10 to 20 minutes where your purchase power plan agent is talking to that seller agent, building rapport. Another 20 to 30 minutes for contract negotiation, two to three hours if you decide to do a home inspection. You get it, right? We provide estimates up front on how much time to expect for each activity that you engage us in. Again, 100% transparency. There is no milking the clock. And the best part, say if you don't have a home inspection, well, then you just saved a good three to four hours of billable time. This program, it's not for everyone, but the people that are serious buyers and have the ability to pay by the hour can save a small fortune and put them in a better position when putting an offer in on a house, especially in a multiple offer situation. Now, the Department of Justice has created an environment where it makes it more challenging for home buyers to buy a new house because as if it wasn't bad and hard enough to come up with that huge down payment, now a buyer has to come with this huge lump sum amount that they're gonna pay their agent plus the down payment at closing. Ouch. Aside from that negative effect, the biggest negative effect is that we are seeing a lot more buyers have no representation in a transaction. This is where a buyer goes straight to the agent who represents the seller and asks them to assist him in the transaction. And how dumb is that? It's like being in court, facing jail time, and asking the prosecution to put up your defense. You can't ride two horses with one backside and you can't represent both parties to the best of your ability. Let's imagine a scenario where a seller is willing to sell for X and a buyer has told the agent that they would be willing to buy for Y and that there's $10,000 between those two numbers. Who gets that 10 grand? Yeah, exactly. Buying a house is one of the largest investments that a person will make in their life. It is imperative that they have people representing them and their best interests. The purchase power plan will lower the cost for many buyers looking to buy a new house, but also Here's one of the best parts. Say you decide to switch from the purchase power plan to a traditional buyer agency plan. In that situation, you will actually be refunded half of whatever you paid in the purchase power plan at closing. My name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent that has sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then know I'm here to help. And if you are interested in saving a small fortune when buying a house and learning more about the purchase power plan, then please reach out. You can go to youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Thanks for watching.